Hey y'all, what's up? It's your boy MC from MCTV. Like I said, I want y'all to go watch this video of um, Steve Cunningham demonstrating Tyson Fury's glove tampering. He's using very similar gloves here. And I really like how he showcases this for us all to see. I don't know why other people, especially the people saying that Fury didn't cheat, haven't come out themselves and demonstrated this with the pair of gloves to show the world. You know, they say a picture says more than a thousand words. I guess that's very true because as you can see, um, the way this guy demonstrates this, I, like it's almost so close. It's like mimicking exactly what we saw in the fight. Like the way he points out, he like Cunningham will slide the glove down and put his wrist where Tyson Fury's wrist is to show you. Like he's gonna show us what it looks like right now to hit with your wrist. Uh, I think your wrist halfway in the glove. Um, maybe we can go back and get it where he's fully in the glove. Here, let's go. Start here. Yeah. So this is where a hook looks like when it's fully in your glove, and he demonstrates that. Your your wrist, I mean, your the top part right here is not going to be flapping or bending because it's impossible because you're going to be closing it with your fingers in there. Um, so look look closely how it looks. See, that's the hook going in right there on the bag, right? There's no flapping because that's a legal that's a legal hit. It's hitting on flush on the top of the glove where the padding is supposed to be. There's nothing funny about that hit, and he does this again. Show us what a real hit looks like. How how come people couldn't show us that? I don't know. How come establishments couldn't show us that? I don't know. How come no one's talking about this? I don't know. It's the obvious. That's how a real hit looks. It's point, plain, simple. Very, very simple. Look at Deontay Wilder's glove right here. It's straight on. There's nothing funny about it. It's going straight towards the target. And then look to this part of the screen. Tyson Fury's. I mean... And then look down here, and then here, and I mean, so let's continue watching. This is why this video is so important. Shout out to Steve Cunningham. Please put some respect on this man's name. I don't even know him like that, um, but I've got a lot of respect for him stating his mind, his opinion, and his truth, considering that he did fight Tyson Fury. And after watching the fight, I seen he was a lot more athletic and agile and was on his way to beating him after coming up from cruiserweight to uh, heavyweight. So he came from uh, a lighter weight just to fight uh, Tyson Fury, who is dramatically bigger. Now he's pointing out where he's actually lowering his fist into this lower part, and he actually um, exposes the Mayweather camp for trying to say, oh, it hurts. It may have hurt those littler guys, but remember, this guy is a heavyweight. And, um, well, he's a cruiserweight slash heavyweight. And, um, you know, so he's going to show us that it doesn't hurt him at all to do the hooks and the the sideways, you know, haymakers and stuff while his glove is in the, while his uh, fist is in the wrist part. Um, he also explains here in the video that uh, there's pretty much no padding besides a thin sheet of leather and some laces that may possibly be separating the knuckles and the skin from the face of his opponent, you know, while this cheating is, or this form of cheating is, is taking place. So here he's going to show us what it looks like to do a full-on hit with your fist in the wrist part like Tyson Fury has it. And you tell me if it doesn't look similar. Just one second. My video keeps uh because me and my girl we were watching this and it was just eerie how similar uh Cunningham had got this to look in this demonstration. Tell you, man. One second here, y'all. I'm gonna have to get this still image. Let's just let this thing play through. But comment down below if this looks the exact same as these pictures of Tyson Fury. Right there, there we go. I finally caught it. You see this, y'all? He did a full on hook with his fist in the wrist part. Does that not look like exactly what we were seeing in the fight? And I'm gonna play this again, because I wanna zero in on this. Cunningham's the only one to demonstrate this this effectively to the public, and just simply. There's nothing extra about this. This is just simplistic, you know what I'm saying? And simple is better for us, you know, especially if this is going to court. But most of all, this is about the truth, like you said. This isn't about hate. This is about love. You know, if you love the sport of boxing and you care about it, then you care about the truth. And, you know, that's that's what I care about. You know, I like the sport of boxing. I got love for the sport of boxing. 
you know, it's an amazing sport. It's one of the greatest sports out there to exist in the arena of sports itself. If boxing wasn't in the the um, category of sports, I don't think I'd really be that interested in sports right now. Um, I do like UFC, but boxing has its own special place, you know, in the um, sports arena. But uh, we can't have this type of cheating in there, and we can't have um, the whole entire establishment dismissing it. Like my video, if you agree that Cunningham is showing us exactly what happened and demonstrating it like no other. Once again, these are just flush hits. They look. This is how Tyson Fury was hitting the whole way through. Just look at that. Tyson Fury hits all day long. This is the guy that you guys are championing around and parading and defending. This is the... Not this guy, but this is the way your guy was hitting the whole entire fight. This is what you're defending. You, you're telling me you can't see this? Every single fanboy that's going to look at this video, that's a Tyson Fury um, writer, you have to explain this. Please explain this. Don't tell me about no commissioners because it's already been proven that people can be there watching the gloves getting wrapped and be in on it. It's already been proven that people are there watching the gloves get wrapped and, and after the fact, fighters are proven to have been cheated during the fights while the commission has watched their gloves being wrapped. Don't tell me about, oh, they already watched the gloves get wrapped. Remember the night on the second fight that the gloves was getting wrapped, Tyson Fury, there was no footage in the locker room? Remember that mysteriously and miraculously got covered during the, during the wrappings? Can you explain that? No, you can't because you know that. And you know that, ironically, during that time, that night where all these different cheating things were taking place, the video went off. You know what happened. I know what happened. The world knows what happened. I'm just reiterating this with a little bit more evidence this time because Cunningham really displayed this like no other and showcased it like no other. You know, I'll, we know that Jay Diaz dropped that bag, that white powder substance that came out of his towel. He was tending to the cuts of Deontay Wilder. He was wiping the mat and it fell out. That could have been the substance used to spike his water. We know Tyson Fury was on PEDs and... Um, you know, uh, reports came out that he may have been using hu human growth hormone. We know he was using rabbit hits and guillotine chokes during the fight. We also know that um, there was metal and egg weights in the glove. And it didn't really look right, as you can see right here. Something doesn't look right here, and you can see a line with the wrist. Um, we know that there was so much cheating going on from the establishment covering it up to everything else that you can possibly think of. Tyson Fury is a cheater. Subscribe to MCTV. We won't stop until justice is served, and this will always be a, t be a talk of boxing um, until the end of time. Um, yep, I'll be back at y'all with another one.